In this tutorial in Cyberlink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to use the effect that's similar to the opening credits of the Star Wars movies with your title. So first thing I want is a background. I could pick any color I wanted, but just for fun, we'll pick a star field. I'm going to right click once in, I'm in my media room. I can get there with my F3 key or clicking on the icon in the upper left corner. I'll import a media file. I've got one called Starfield. I'll click on that and drop that into my media room. Now I'm going to drag that down in track number one. Now here again I notice that the icon, image I have is not the right proportions. The easy way to fix that again is to use the crop tool above the timeline. If I click on that it will ask me about the aspect ratio. I'm using a 16 by 9, so I'll just leave it set for that and then just click on the OK. And now I have a copy of that that's been cropped to my particular proportions. So that's a nice feature. Uh, if I look at my duration, I believe mine is set for, for uh, five seconds. If I hold the mouse over, I can see that. I'll just drag it and make it plenty long for the example we're going to be using here. So now I have a background. Now on track number two, I need to put a title. So I go to the T for title room. I'll take and drag down my default title, drop it on track number two. And then we're going to edit it. I can double click on it or press the F2 key to get into my title designer. Uh, first thing I want to do is I want to change the font size. That's a little big. We'll try something like 26. I want to center the font. Uh, the font text here and let's also give it a thicker kind of look here we'll go with something like this and then I'll click over here uh, below on the right side to align the object we'll do a horizontal center and I'll just go ahead and type in some text here while we pause the video I'll put a hard carriage return at the end of every line I've typed in five lines of text, which is what I'd recommend to start with. And I'm going to make sure this, they're centered. I'll click on the align uh, below the preview window. Well, uh, horizontal center is aligned. Let's do vertical center. And there is my text aligned on the screen. Now, if you get this far, you have a couple of options. If you really want to, you can go ahead and press the Enter key again twice and start a new paragraph. So I could go down here uh, in my text, pressing the Enter key twice, and I could keep typing text that I can't necessarily see unless I move my edit window. So I could take it and drag this up here, and I could keep on typing and do uh, multiple paragraphs. This is an easy way to do it if you don't have lots and lots of text that you want to separate. So uh, I'll continue typing for a bit and we'll do a couple more paragraphs so you can see the effect when we're finished. Is I'm going to have to move them all so that we start at the very top again. So I'll take the, the entire text here and we'll make sure that it starts at the, at the top of the screen here. So I'm going to make sure we're centered again horizontally. I can't center vertically uh, because I go way off the screen here. But this gives me some text in multiple paragraphs. Now there's another technique you can use to do this and I'll show you that in a little bit. But now I have my background and now I have my text. And we're going to go to the Effect tab, the Center tab on the left side. And under Starting Effect we're going to go down to the section in the alphabet under P. It's called Perspective Scroll Up. And I'll click on that, and that will give me my perspective that will give me my, quote, Star Wars kind of effect. And I'll click on OK. Now if I go ahead to play this, I can play, and this is a, uh, an example of what it will look like when you've done this all in one large text. Now I can adjust the speed if I want to simply by making the duration of the clip longer. The longer it is, the slower it will seem on the screen. 
And here's another example of doing it in a slower fashion. And so the effect is pretty good. You can change your font size, your font type, your color, all those other features that we talk about in other lessons. Now there's another way to do this as well using this same technique. I'm going to double click on the on the the slide here. And what I'd like to do, let's assume that all we want to do is put one screen full of text on at a time. So I'm going to go back and we'll delete everything except to the uh, back down to the first screen full. Now we'll be working a screen at a time here. So now I have my first screen and I have my text. What also I'm going to want to do is uh, go, I'll go ahead and save this. And then I want to go back, in this case, to the star field, my background, whatever it is. And then I'll right click up here and click on grid lines. I'm going to turn them on to 10 by 10. I'll show you why in a moment. So what I want to do here is I want to have the grid lines set. So I want to know if I'm going to do another paragraph where I want it to start. Let's assume I want this to be roughly above this second uh, grid marker here. So I'll move back a little bit. And you can use your right and left uh, greater than or less than keys on the keyboard to do that. So what I'm going to do is right here, I'm going to right click and click add a timeline marker. And I can give it a name. I'll just call this second slide and click on OK. So when it's here, this is where I want the second slide to start if I'm going to use it just one screen at a time. So then what I need, all I need to do is take my first slide, right click on it and copy it, move to another track below that, right click and click on paste. And I'll do paste and overwrite because the track is empty. So here I happen to be at my timeline marker. I didn't move my playhead, but if I would move my playhead, I'll nestle this up to the timeline marker. That way, the second slide will come in where I want to under the first slide. So I'll show you the transition here. We have the first slide coming in, and then we have the second slide with a, a gap because it's a new paragraph coming in. And of course, I would take the text here and change it rather than repeat it, which I've done in this case. But for uh, the purpose of simply illustrating the, the, the gap between one paragraph and another, this is how you can do it if you want to set multiple paragraphs and keep each one only uh, a screen full of text at a time. And so that's one way in which you can use that particular effect. So you can either type all of it on one slide and um, keep moving the, uh, uh, the slide on the screen until, so you can see and edit, or you can just do one screen at a time using this effect. We also have another way of doing this, which is a little more sophisticated if you have a copy of uh, PowerDirector that contains Titler Pro, and we'll create a lesson on that as well.